In this video, I'm covering brand new updates that just dropped to Diffusion B version 1.7.4. It now includes support for ControlNet, Stable Diffusion 2.0, fixes for black screen error issues on Intel Macs that were running 13.0, the ability to generate similar images and multiple schedulers, and safe tensor support. A lot of users have been asking for all these features, and now they're here for everybody, not just beta. So. With that, I kind of covered this a little bit in the previous video, but uh, with the control net, now you can input an image, uh, kind of similar to how you would with image to image, but with control net, it's a lot more accurate. So I just had a picture of me with a, uh, a, a mask on my face with headphones when I was airbrushing, and I use that as like the base model, and it learned from that image and recreated all these really close representations of that image. And uh, like anything else, you can play around with sliders, and get a lot more accurate images. Uh, it also, not only do you have control of the, over the depth map, which I covered in the previous video, but the body pose as well, which I've also mentioned, uh, where you can have a pose. So I was sitting in a chair and it was able to recreate the overall pose pretty accurately. And you can play around with the slider as well and make some really fun uh, illustrations. Of course, the more uh, detailed your prompt, uh, you can they'll you know play a huge factor in the overall imaging. So if you have a specific artist style, or you know the camera lens or lighting will affect your image as well. So you know like a 55 millimeter lens versus like you know wide angle lens or whatever will affect how it looks. Uh, if it's by like Thomas Kincaid or like you know Bob Ross, the painting is going to look a little different. You know, so play around with all those different prompts like you have before, but now you have the ability to create some really fun stuff. Now, also in the control net, I also wanted to kind of cover this a little bit more in depth. You have uh, with the scribble, because I didn't mention that too much in the previous video. Uh, what it does is literally takes a drawing. So if you have like, you just drew something with like your mouse, which I just did, like a really terrible house and some trees and the background and the sun. <laughs> uh, I just put a cabin in the woods. Or I put a, a beautiful scenic painting of a cabin in the woods. And of course, I can get way more intricate, way more detailed, you know, what time of day and lighting and all that good stuff and specific artists. And it would have been a, a lot more detailed painting, uh, but I just left it really, really basic. And the default model, which I believe is Stable Diffusion 1.5 that it installs. And it turned my terrible pencil drawing into something a lot more elaborate and intricate. So that's really fun and really colorful illustrations here. And so that's basically the update uh, again is your three models with control net that come with it now. And you have, of course, the number of images that you want, your input strength slider you can play around with. Hopefully in the next one, you'll be able to see the numbers. Currently you can't, which is a little frustrating, but it's okay. Of course, you can also input negative prompts, you know, things you don't want to include with your image. You can use your custom models if you have a bunch, if you made your own. And if you haven't seen my video on how to do that, please check that out in the description. Big overhaul to the image to our text to image is now the ability to do the similar images. So for this, I just put a, a prompt in here for Wonder Woman. I'm using a, a custom model that I had made and put in like a random seed number. And now under this drop down menu, there's an option that says similar images. You toggle the similar images option and say yes. It will use a specific seed number and recreate different variations from that particular image, which is really cool and exciting. So for this example, Wonder Woman, uh, they gave me different variations. So the headband slightly different on all these images, the shoulder armor, or the armor in general, slightly different. The bust size is different. Uh, even the makeup's a little different um, in all these illustrations, which is really cool. This one has like a really uh, clear, oh, these two actually have a very clear cape and this is kind of more blended with like hair, which is interesting, but you can really get some good variety from these updates right here alone is kind of crazy. And now with the option to import safe tensors and stable diffusion models based on 2.0, a lot more flexibility involved. So that's exciting too. Anyway, that's a very, very quick update on what's happened in Diffusion B. So if you haven't checked out my previous videos, please do. I have videos covering how to make your own custom models and how to import custom models and different techniques for photo bashing with the images that you create with those models and a bunch of other cool stuff on my channel. So as always, y'all, be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment below on what you'd like to see me cover next. And I will talk to you all soon. All right. Peace.